Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the month of July. Let's get started, yeah? All right, Aquarius. Hi Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius for this time period of July, and please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. So Aquarius, I'm already seeing white. It's almost like an like an icy white. It's interesting. Maybe smoky. Um, huh. It's like, it's almost like a smoke screen. Aquarius. Why are you throwing out smoke screens? What's the deal? Aquarius. One more shuffle for you, Aquarius. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got for you, Aquarius. Overall energy. We're starting with, ah, the Queen of Wands. Okay, maybe that's why I was seeing smoke. Where there's passion, there's fire. Are you on fire, <laughs> Aquarius? Or are you just really passionate about something? I'm picking up that um, there's a lot of magical magnetism around you or coming through right now. Ooh, we've got the devil. We also have the five of pentacles in reverse and we have the three of wands. Interesting. So this could be why there's this smoke around you. Because, wait, let me see this. Oh, okay. Um, because 
you, you're trying to get somewhere. You've made a decision and you want to go forward and you're like in the process, you're in the stage of like planning for it or like waiting for your ships to come in, you know, figuring out how you're actually going to get to what you've chosen. Okay. But you're trapped in some devil energy of fear, thinking that you're, you're lacking, that you're inadequate, that you're not good enough or whatever. Kind of putting yourself out in the cold. Which is weird because the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are very, very confident. Now, on the other hand, there's another... What else I'm getting here is... this: The devil here could be symbolizing your passion for something. Your, your drive, your lust for something. And with the Five of Pentacles here, you're not leaving yourself out in the cold. You're not giving in to self-doubt. Okay. Well, that's definitely two different scenarios for you, isn't it? <laughs> Moving forward, we have the Five of Wands. All right, so there's conflict. There's chaos, even. Opposing views. Five of Wands is with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So there's a bit of procrastination here now because of chaos, because of opposing views. It could be because of this devil energy here. The devil energy could be creating this chaos, this, this um, inability to see clearly is what I'm hearing. So there's a bit of procrastination with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Moving forward, oh, but we've got the Ten of Cups here. Okay, so emotional fulfillment is on the horizon. With, ooh, the tower. Now the tower is in reverse, but the tower is in reverse here because I believe I feel I'm picking up that you're coming out of a tower, which has helped a tower moment, which has helped you redefine this ten of cups for you. Is helping you redefine how to get to this ten of cups because remember we had the three of wands underneath the deck. But there's still some ego at play here that I don't believe is helping you. But at the same time, I don't really think it's hindering you either. It's just made more of a nuisance, holding you back a little bit. Moving forward, we have the King of Swords in reverse with the Four of Wands, <coughs> excuse me, in reverse. Mm-hmm. Foundations, home life, with the Four of Wands. Someone's at odds with it, with the King of Swords. But I feel like their judgment is misplaced. That's what I just heard. Could be an air sign, but it's, it's, it's a masculine energy, whether male or female in gender. Someone's at, at odds with a home life, but they're not really seeing clearly. That could be what the devil energy is. And the devil energy is just kind of stirring the pot. <laughs> mm. Moving forward. Oh, but we have the Ace of Swords here. So clarity, truth. Things being seen or shown for what they truly are. With... Ooh, the King of Wands in reverse. So we've got the counterparts here, guys. We've got the Queen of Wands and we've got the King of Wands. So there's some truth that came out around a King of Wands. Someone was being promiscuous. Someone was, um, yeah, was really being quite egoic here. Very selfish. But there's truth coming out. And I believe it looks, it feels like this King of Wands and the King of Swords are like the same person. And there was manipulation here. This could have been, because we have the counterparts also, this, prop, this could have been a marriage, but it also could have been just a very deep connection. A long-term connection also. Hmm. All right, moving forward. 
We've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Someone does not want to start over, is what I just heard, with the Eight of Wands. But if you don't want to start over, then you're going to have to communicate, point blank. If you don't communicate, then the, the issue can't be resolved, and you will have to start over somewhere else with someone new. Communication is imperative here, guys. Whatever's going on, Aquarius, communication is imperative. It is key to this, to the resurrection of this situation, if that's what you want. Hmm. All right, moving forward, we have the Ten of Swords. Right underneath the Ten of Cups, too, with the Tower in reverse. So this tower moment really did help. And you're coming out of it now, guys. You're seeing much clearer. Okay? This, this, this cycle can come to an end. And you can reach ultimate emotional fulfillment. Ten of Swords is with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. The end of juggling. Stop juggling. What is there to juggle for anyway? I mean, I... You have, you got the counterparts here. You have the Ten of Cups here. You have the emotional fulfillment that you guys have been looking for. Stop juggling. There's nothing to juggle. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. With, ah, the Five of Swords in reverse. There was anxiety that was causing this conflict, this self-sabotaging. This anxiety was sabotaging somebody. Nightmares, sleepless nights. But clarity came through and the truth came out and now the anxiety is gone. So now the swords can be put down. There's nothing to fight over anymore. We know what the truth is now. But you have to continue to communicate to keep this thing from happening again. Mm-hmm. Finally... We've got the Queen of Cups. And I'm getting someone's holding on to their emotions. But they're also maybe very psychic. You could be dealing with a water sign here. Or a fire sign. Or an earth sign, maybe. Yeah, okay, we've got all of them. Capricorn. Well, actually, Capricorn, this is you. Why didn't I see that before? Capricorn, that's you right there, the devil. Queen of Cups is with, ah, the Two of Cups in reverse. Well, for some people, I don't think this Queen of Cups wants to reconcile. Boop. In other cases, this is a deep soulmate connection. It's just, you're just at odds right now. But you got the Two of Cups and you got the Ten of Cups. But honesty is key here. The Ace of Swords. Whoever this King of Wands is, they need to tell the truth. And they need to continue telling the truth. Right? Right. All right, Capricorn. I'm not talking to Capricorn. I'm talking to Aquarius. What am I talking about? I am so sorry, guys. I just did Capricorn reading. But you could be you could be dealing with a Capricorn. That's what I was meaning to say. But we're talking to Aquarius right now. King of Swords is you, Aquarius. Potentially. And for some reason, I don't feel like you're happy in your home life. Or you, you're at odds with your home life for some reason, Aquarius. Yeah. And whoever this King of Wands is, it's also the King of Swords. It's like you mentally kind of checked out of that home of this home life and you may have gone King of Wands in reverse out there to try to make yourself feel better. 
But now there's truth coming to that, somehow. Huh. Okay, let's get into your oracle cards, Aquarius. We've got the unicorns here. What do we have in store for Aquarius from the unicorns? Balance. Gee, yeah, and you got the two of pentacles here. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. Some of you could be overworking. There could be a juggling between work and home life, work and family that became imbalanced. That could have been what this tower moment was. That could be how you were at odds with your home life. Okay? You need to balance. Crystal Mandala and whatever crystal comes out in here, I encourage you guys, if you feel so uh, inclined, to pick one up and work with it, yeah? Aquarius. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, two. Okay. We've got Ascended Master Helios and Citrine. Your time to shine. And we have Archon Barbelo and Picture Jasper. Support. All right, let's talk. Let's start with your time to shine. Okay. Here we go. We bring you the blessing of your time to shine. On the divine path, you gain empowerment through surrender and alignment with divine consciousness greater than your own. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. You also gain strength, wisdom, and understanding. You release fear and gain love's power. You become increasingly radiant, discovering more of your own divine identity. At some point on your path, Whilst this is always happening for you on, in the, on the inner planes, excuse me, you will be ready to perform a similar function on the outer planes in the world of forms. This is when you will be asked to bravely shine your light to help those in need, perhaps lost or in darkness of some sort in the physical world. I mean, what I'm really getting from that is everything you're going through right now, Aquarius, um, I just heard is divine destiny is ultimately serving you in order to be of help to others in the future, okay? And finally, we have card number nine, support. We bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to, ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for, and what you need is only a prayer away. I really feel like somebody has been working way too hard right now because they don't, because they're lacking abundance, or they feel like they are not abundant. And that could be putting you at odds with your family life, with your home life. But you always have the support of the universe behind you. Okay, Aquarius? Alrighty, well, there it is. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the month of August. Yeah? Take care. Bye.